Shemo. So for this I was born. For this I came into the world. Until he does sit, yes? And then ideally, when you pet your dog, you always want to pet your dog by petting them under the chin. You don't want to pet your dog on top of the head, especially if you're training a guard dog. This is an Ochaka puppy, a Russian import. So he's bred to be a guard dog, yeah? So I don't want to pet him on top of the head, not that I'm worried about him biting me, but petting a dog on top of the head teaches them, inadvertently, not to make eye contact with you when you talk. So you see how right now when I'm talking, good, 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 good. Good, good, good. And I'm not going to say good boy, good dog, good puppy. I'm not going to Okay? Good, good, good. No, Maggie! That's Maggie. She's a little friend. Yeah, she's a hot mess. I just uploaded a video for her yesterday. Good, good, good. She's doing really good, though. Especially on her training mission collar. Good. So, again, if I was going to go with the good word theory here, I would be praising him right now for not moving. Good stay. Good stay, Papa. You see what I'm talking about? He can't do any wrong. So if I move, if I like this behavior, I would tell him good shake, but I don't want that behavior. I don't think it's a good idea to teach a puppy to shake, roll over, play dead when they're babies. That's something that should be taught when they're older. Good, good, good. So again, if I walk away from him and he doesn't move, good stay. Good stay. Good heel. Look, get my left. Good heel. Look how I'm giving my left shoulder blade. Good heel, my heart. Good. Now my initial intention with this class was to use treats to get the motivation from it. Good, good, good. Good. Good heel. Good. Good sit. All good word theory. See how I'm working him? Again, I'm working on his stay now. Good stay. Good, 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 papa. Good stay. If he messes up, it's okay. He can't mess up, rather. Good stay. Good stay. Good. What a good stay. Handsome. Oh, good heel. Good. Good, good, good. Good sit. Handsome. Yeah. Good, good, good. Good stay. Good heel. Oh, yeah, I hit my left shoulder today and I turn. Good, good, good. Cute. Good, good, good. Okay, so he's not talking, he's thinking, yes, he's processing. So watch, I'm going to reset. Call my body language down and I'm going to step in. Good, 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 good. Oh, he must be goofy on this. He wants to play now. So, maybe that's all we can get out of him attacking the body. I'm going to kick it up a notch by using treats. And the kind of treats that I'm going to use are actually made for cats. They're soft and chewy dogs love them. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. So these are cat good sit. See how he heard the back open and he sat down? It's not a good thing, yeah? That means that he this sound of the back opening is a marker. So ideally, I need to start reaching for treats like this when he's out outdoors. Good sit, yeah? And I don't want to give him one because he heard that marker. Oh, look at that dog. Good, good, good. come here. So I'm gonna put the treats. Good, my neck good good, 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 good. Good heel, good heel. And I said him one as he was walking. I'm letting him kind of lift them on my left hand side, look when I come to the stop. I'm gonna say the word, good heel. He got another one right there, right? I'm like dispensing it through my head. Wow, good sit. Good, good, good. Heel, good heel. Okay, good stay. Okay, go well, over there, buddy. You're, okay, good stay. Wow, good stay. Good stay, wow, good stay. Oh, I messed up. 
up. Okay, now let's see. Good, good, good. Good, good count. Good. Good, good heel. Good heel. Look how I'm walking more on me, yeah? Good heel. The very first time I've ever done this with him. I've only had him maybe, oh, I don't know, five days or something. Wow. Good sit. Awesome, huh? Good, good, good. Good. Now, if he walks with me, I'm going to tell him good heel, yes? Good heel. Okay, you did it. Good stay. Good stay. Good stay. Good heel. Wow. Good sit. So he's probably going to stay put, yeah? Good stay. So now I'm going to do a revolution around it. Okay? Look, left shoulder blade towards him. Good, good, good. Oh, he wants more tricks and he knows there's more over there. Good, 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 good. Good. I'm trying to encourage him to come to me. So every time I think he's thinking about coming to me, I'm going to say that we're good. Good, 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 good. Handsome! Good, good, good. Okay, he's out, guys. He's out. It's over. He messed it all up. No, he didn't. He did a great job, yeah? He's a baby. He's only five months old, yeah? So he's a little baby. And I'll be honest with you guys, he's probably as mentally mature as a three-month-old dog, yeah? The larger the breed of dog, this is a giant breed of dog, the slower they mature mentally, despite growing so fast physically. Good, good, my body. All right. So now watch. This is a particularly stubborn puppy. Most stubborn puppy I've ever had. And I've been trying to force those people. My horses don't tend to be very stubborn. They're willful. Good sit. We're not stubborn. But now I'm putting him in the crate. I'm going to give him a crunchy cookie type treat, okay? I'm actually going to give him two of them. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk over here and instead of fighting him, I'm just going to toss the treats in here. Good. Voila! We're done, yeah? That's the way you want to have your dog, guys. You want to treat your puppy like that. If you've only had your puppy for three or four days and you're looking for videos on YouTube or calling trainers around because you need this dog to start sitting and healing and staying and laying down for you, you're making a mistake. Take your time, bond with your dog, create a rapport with them. Start by doing the good work there, right? Quick breakdown, dog. Does it, a behavior you like on their own without being prompted by you? Look at the dog and say, good sit. Dog lays down, good down. Dog comes towards you, good, 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 good. Take your puppy outside to go potty. Don't say anything to your puppy. Wait for your puppy to start going potty. Puppy starts to go potty, good potty. Let's say your dog does something, like your dog likes to sit up on his hind legs, yes? Every time you see him sitting up on his hind legs, you can say, good upset, or something. Good upset, good upset, yes? If every time your dog looks in some mean direction, you point and you say, good look, eventually you'll be able to point and say, good look, in closing. If your dog has three toys, okay? A ball, a bear, and a bunny. Every time your dog runs up to that ball, you say, good ball, good ball, it's only a matter of time before you say, where's your ball? And the dog realizes what you're saying and says, I know where my ball is at, and goes find it. Dog, our children thrive in a large community of acknowledgement and affection, and it's important that you test your handling skills before you take your dog out in public, yeah? So if your dog does good for you in a closed, controlled environment, you need to take, make sure your handling is good before you take him to there. And I'm going to tell you, with every training session you have with a puppy, your dog is succeeding because of lack of stimulation or distractions, you're making a mistake. Learn to handle your dog under extreme distractions, yeah? Very, very good. Good, 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 good. And test it out for yourself. You'll see. I use the prong collar. I use the leash. I use treats. You know, a lot of people comment and say, I like that you didn't use treats. I use treats sometimes in closing. If tossing a treat in the cage makes the dog go in the cage every time, no matter what is happening around them, yes or otherwise, then do that. Yeah, make it easy for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. Got a whole bunch of videos coming up. I got the giant, world's potentially largest kind of course coming in today for training. We're gonna be videotaping. We're gonna be back one with it. It's gonna be so much fun, yeah? Thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. My name is Erwin Ramos. Now that is going to the silence.